It was seventh grade, English class. It wasn't first or second period because I remember being mentally present. The seats were arranged by last name, so there was usually like a pattern of kids around me. To my left, there was this girl, Melissa. She always handed out like creepy facts that people were not looking for. To my right was Wayne. He was a goofball. He did the tuck your lip in and show your teeth thing a lot. Behind him was Heather. She was very about her business, kind of anal retentive. And the teacher was Mr. O. If you ask 12 year old me, I would say he was six foot. He had this scholarly air about him. You know, had tea with dead poets on the weekend, but he did get made fun of a lot. He had one kind of cross eye, also pointed with his middle finger. So then two students would look at each other and be like, uh, who, who is he pointing to? He always went, um, yeah, I think, yeah. Shortly after the start of class, he asked us to come to his desk when he called our last name. When I went up, he didn't immediately hand it back to me. He was holding onto it with both hands, looked at me, and asked me how long it took to write the paper. It felt like a rhetorical question. He asked, do you care about what you wrote about? Do you have any interest in this? Do you even feel challenged in the class or are you underwhelmed? I was stunned, so I didn't respond. He didn't wait for my answer though. He just handed it back to me and said, rewrite the paper, write about whatever you want, get it back to me before the quarter is over. Him giving that paper back to me and saying to me what he said, something had clearly shifted my mind. We had those desks that like the chair was attached to the desk. Under the chair was a little metal carriage thing. We started packing our stuff up to go and so I look under and I see like a little bit of red on the chair. I thought I imagined it. So I look again. I just remember thinking this is where I live now. I will eat, sleep, and receive mail from this desk. I was wondering if anyone else saw, and I was acting super paranoid, and Heather, she was sitting like right at the angle where if she just was looking at, looking at the back of my head and looked down, boom, like full view. She asked me um, something, maybe about the homework, and then I heard her say my name again, and then she said my name a third, she was like, Rowena, and she was like, something about homework, and I was like, not now, Heather. And she did not appreciate that. So I waited until everyone left. Where the whole breakdown starts for me is when he's sitting on the corner of his desk, looking at me, kind of wondering what I'm still doing there. He appeared in front of me, just facing me dead on. Like I said, he's pretty tall, so. I think he thought I had a uh, school related issue so he was like do you have a question for me and i just shook my head no and then maybe it sunk in that something was up when he asked me do you need help or is something wrong the best way i decided to phrase it was there's blood on this chair which looking back on it felt super super passive like I could have said like, I got my period or the pad leaked or some other, for, like something that I took responsibility for the moment. So after I told him, we were still making eye contact and he said, okay. And then we broke eye contact and maybe that's when it clicked. He was like, oh, okay, um, all right. And then went to his desk and got his jacket, which is the super puffy black winter coat. I wrapped it around my waist. He just kind of gestured and left. I was so embarrassed. And I didn't even know what to make of it, but I really wanted to know what he was thinking. What did he think of me? So, uh, 13 years later, I asked him. It wasn't the end of the day, I don't think. But I remember everybody leaving. 
And, and I guess I asked you, I, I, are you all right? Or I think you just said something like there's blood on the chair. At that point, I just, okay. No problem. You know, and I seem to remember tossing my jacket to, to wrap around your waist or something like that. And so just, you know, just go take care of yourself and don't worry about it. Um, if it were my own daughter, I would hope that somebody would handle it in the same way. You know, you, you've just started teaching. How long have you been doing it? About a year and a half now. I mean, you're creating these moments. You don't know that you're doing it, and you don't know when they're going to circle back around to you. Uh, but at some point they will. And when you least expect it, and probably from the people you least expect um, to, be, to be making an impact on or having an impact on right now,